In this video we're going to add or subtract from both sides and then multiply or divide both sides um, and uh, we'll look at this page one to begin with and we'll do these four examples. So write down the first example 5a plus 7 equals 57. 5a plus 7 equals 57. 5a plus 7 equals 57. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is to tell me what the answer is without solving it. That says 5 apples plus 7 cent equals 57 cent. So how much is an apple worth? If 5 apples plus 7 cents equals 57 cents. An apple is worth how much? Can you, can you think of it? 5 apples plus 7 cents equals 57 cents. Press pause if you need more time. So I hope we all agree that the answer is the apple is worth 10 cents because 5 times 10 is 50, right? 5 times 10 is 50 and 7 gives 57. So now I'm just, obviously we know the answer, that's fine, but I do want to go through the steps of solving it so it's clear in your mind. And so that when we come to the examples that don't make any sense at all, and they're awfully confusing, well then the, at least the steps make sense. So we're going to do a couple of, of hopefully a little ob obvious equations. Hopefully they're, they're a little bit obvious anyway. So when we solve equations with two steps, we got to think about what do we do first. Now you got to think what's being done to A. Okay, The operation being done to A at first is it's being multiplied by 5. Okay. So it's been multiplied by 5. And then what's been done to it is 7 is being added. Okay, So there's two operations applied to A. First of all, um, it's been multiplied by 5. And then 7 is being added. What's the inverse of multiplying by 5? Like what's the opposite of multiplying by 5? Well, it's divide by 5, right? And what's the inverse of adding 7? What's the opposite of that? Well, subtract 7. But the order which you do it makes uh, it matters. Like, it's easier... It's been times by 5 and then 7 is added. But to undo this mess and to get A all by itself on one side of the equation, like that, A equals something, we've got to get rid of the 7 and then divide by 5, just because it's easier. So the operations were applied in this direction. When I un It's like undoing a knot. You, you, you start at the outside and you work backwards until you get to the answer. So we're going to subtract 7 and then divide by 5. And So that's the idea, all right? And it's just because it's, it's the easiest thing to do. I mean, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the 7. So, and to get rid of a plus 7, I just subtract 7. But if I subtract 7 from this side of the Wayne scales, remember we're dealing with an equation which is just like a, a Wayne scales. If I subtract 7 from the left of the Wayne scales, then both sides are not equal anymore. I'm, i got to make sure that both sides are always equal. So whatever I do to the left, I've got to do to the right. So I must subtract 7 from here also, right? So what do you get on the left-hand side and what do you get on the right-hand side now? So I've subtracted 7, I've taken him out of the equation, taken uh, care of that, and so we just have 5 apples on the left. Do you agree with that? Or 5 times A. On the right hand side we have what? 57 minus 7 is 50, right? So we have 5 times A equals 50. And now we have to do the inverse operation of multiplying by 5. So now we have to divide by 5, okay? So again, we subtract 7, and then we divide by 5. Okay. So I need to divide this by 5 in order to get A by itself. Because if I do that, 5 and a 5 goes once. 5 and a 5 goes once. And I'm left with 1 times A over 1, which is A over 1, which is just A. Okay. But if I divide the left-hand side of the weighing scales by 5, then both sides are no longer equal. I can't just do something to one side and not to the other. So if I divide this side by 5, I must also divide this side by 5. 50 over 5 gives 10. Okay. So um, 
please write this one down and we'll do it the same way. 2b plus 1 equals 41. 2b plus 1 equals 41. It's saying 2 bananas plus 1 cent equals 41 cent. So what's the value of a banana? What's the value of a banana? Can you tell me the answer right away? Just so we're clear that the answer is what? Two bananas plus one cent gives 41 cent. Press pause if you need more time to think about it. Banana would be, I hope we all agree, the banana would be 20 cent, right? Because two 20s makes 40. So this thing would be 40. 40 plus one is 41. So I know what we're looking for, but I just want to go through another simple example just so that when we come to the uh, funny ones that don't make any sense at all, then we at least are comfortable with the steps that we need to take. So, the most, like if you were trying to figure this out in your head, and maybe you already did, when you figured it out in your head, you might have actually thought, well, okay, it, we're kind of looking for 40, aren't we? <laughs> like, two, the two bananas have got to represent 40. And so how did you get 40? Well, you, you, in your head, you probably already subtracted one from both sides to get 2b equals 40, right? So it's, it's kind of like the logical thing to do. So, so it's, 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 it should make sense that um, we want to get b all by himself on one side. b, b equals something, okay? And um, the problem is that b has been multiplied by 2, and then 1 is being added, okay? So the first thing done to b, it's times by 2, and then 1 is being added. Okay, now to undo that, we go the opposite direction. We first undo the adding 1 by subtracting 1. And how do we undo multiplying by 2? What's the inverse of multiplying by 2? It is divide by 2. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. We've got to get b by itself, and um, the easiest thing to do is just to get rid of the plus 1 first of all. So how do you get rid of the plus 1? You subtract 1 from both sides. Remember, it's a weighing scale, so whatever you do to the left, you must do to the right. So what do you get now? 1 minus 1 is 0, and we have 2 bananas cost how much? 41 minus 1, 40. So you might have thought that in your head, well, two bananas got to be 40 cents, right? Now, so that's two times a banana equals 40. So how much is one banana? Just tell me, how much is one banana? Two bananas are 40, one banana has to be 20, right? So what did you do in your head? You divided 40 by 2 in your head, okay? So to get B by itself, and we'll write out the steps, even though it's an easy example. Well, I hope it is anyway. If we divide both sides by 2, 2 into 2 goes once here and here. See that? And that leaves us just with B all by himself. And 40 divided by 2 is 20. And so we did find 20 in the end. So I hope you enjoyed those examples. And again, the inverse operations we used were um, subtract 1 and then divide by 2. Okay. So now let's go on to confusing examples with negatives and x's and all sorts of funny things. So, remember, x is just a missing number, just like a was a missing number and b was a missing number. So we've got to figure out what the value of x is that would make this equation thr true. So, negative what number, and then add 8, will end you up with negative 3. Okay, so write it down. Negative x plus 8 equals negative 3. By all means, try to do it in your head. That would be fun. But um, the steps to get x all by himself... Um, again, we, we've got to undo things one by one, and I'll just write down the operations just real quick. You don't have to write this down, but I just want to make sure you're clear that the first thing done to x is subtract, okay? Well, what does that even mean, right? And how do you do undo subtract? Well, remember, we went over this recently, if you have a negative x, I mean, if you have a negative 5x, it's been multiplied by negative 5, right? But if you just have negative x, what's been done to it? It's been multiplied by what? If you have a negative x, x has been multiplied by a negative 1, okay? So the first operation is times by negative 1, okay? 
That's the first thing that's been done to x. Then what's been done to x? 8 is added on. Right? So the first operation is times by negative 1. The second operation is add 8. And it's been done in this direction. So the inverse is we go backwards and we undo, we untie the knots. We undo the, the operations. So we're going to get rid of the 8 first. We're going to subtract 8, right? And then uh, to undo times in by negative 1, what do we do? To undo times in by negative 1, we divide by negative 1. Okay, so we got to subtract 8, then divide by negative 1, then we'll have the answer, right? Anyway, so the key, we got to get x by itself. First thing to do is get rid of the plus 8, okay? So to get rid of the plus 8, you're going to subtract 8 from both sides. Subtract 8 from both sides, okay? So plus 8 minus 8 gives 0. So on the left, what are we going to get and what are we going to get on the right? Write down what you get on both sides now. So on the left, we'll be left with negative x or negative 1x, same thing. On the right, you've got negative 3 minus 8. You're in debt by $3. You spend $8. How far in debt are you now? You're in debt by... 11. Okay. So 3 negatives and 8 negatives makes 11 negatives. Um, it's negative 1 times x equals negative 11. To undo multiplying by negative 1, what do we do? We've got to divide by negative 1. And if I divide this side by negative 1, what do I do to this side? Also divide by negative 1. Okay. And on the left hand side it's negative over negative, which makes plus, okay? And one over one is one and we still have the x. So it's plus one x. Positive one x and that's what we want. We don't want negative x, we want positive x. We want to know what the actual number itself is, the positive x. So what does the right hand side become? What's negative eleven divided by negative one? Well, negative over negative is positive, and 11 over 1 is 11. Okay, so the answer is x equals 11, and if we check that, that will work out. Again, you don't have to check all of your homework, but if you check some answers, that would be great because it would. Uh, good, it's good practice for tests because you got to check everything on a test anyway. So. The original equation was negative x plus 8 equals negative 3. And we got the answer of x equals 11. So we'll plug 11 in here and see if the thing works out. Um, negative 11 plus 8, what's that? 11 negatives plus 8, 8 positives. 11 negatives, 8 positives. Negative 3. So with negative 3 equals negative 3. Draw a smiley face. Both sides are equal. That was the answer. X equals 11. Okay. Please write this one down. Press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Negative 5x minus 1 equals negative 11. Sorry, that was a times that I put in earlier, but it should be just negative 5x minus 1 equals negative 11. Please write it down, press pause on the video, do the whole thing yourself, and also check it. If you could also check it, that would be great. Okay, I really hope you pressed pause and tried it yourself, and if you've made a mistake, that's just fine. It's good to make a mistake on a video because then we get to go over it together and, and you might uh, see the error of your ways and, and be ready for the homework then. So x has been multiplied by negative 5 and then 1 is being subtracted. We've got to undo subtracting 1. To undo subtracting 1, we add 1 to both sides. Now you might have made a mistake in that. We didn't do one of those yet. Anyway, so we'll keep going. Negative 1 plus 1 gives 0. And on the left we have negative 5x equals negative 16 plus 1 is negative 15. Okay, so it's negative 5 times x equals negative 15. To undo multiplying, we divide. We got to divide by a negative 5 on both sides. Okay. So if you haven't got that, please keep going from here. Negative over negative is positive. 5 over 5 is 1. Okay. 
and we also have the x so we have positive 1x which is what we want we want positive 1x or just x same thing equals negative over negative positive 15 over 5 3 positive 3 x equals positive 3 okay and when we check that it should indeed work out okay so when i check that i get sorry um so we start out with uh, negative 5 times x minus 1 equals negative 16 and x became 3 so I'm gonna plug 3 in here negative 5 times 3 is negative 15 negative 15 minus 1 if you're in debt by $15 you subtract 1 you'll be in debt by 16 or you could do this plus negative negative 1 plus negative or negative 15 plus negative 1 is negative 16 so we have negative 16 on both sides draw a smiley face and that worked out.